Hi crafty friends, Chantel here with Crafty Designs by Lee. Thanks for joining me today. Today I wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how I store my Spellbinders dies. I find, found that when with the dies come in, a, in the package like this and they are adhered onto the back of the pamphlet that tells you how to use it with a little bit of, of tape and what I found is that over time this tape starts to wear out you know the more you take the uh, the die cuts off and put them back on the tape starts to wear out so I wanted to find a better way to store my die, my die uh, cuts because I figured you know over time this here would no longer be helpful for me to, to store my die cuts so what I did was I went to Michael's and looking around in there I found uh, this magnetic sheet paper and it comes in a 9 inch by 12 inch size and this is what it looks like on the uh, one side and then the other side is the magnetic strip here and it's a long sheet of paper and this is what I have left so this is what we're working with today. Um, it was very inexpensive and it cuts super easy and I was able to take all of my die cuts and <clears throat> put them in in the packaging that way and uh, it's it's easy for me to keep up with them so this is what it will end up looking like I just took some very sticky tape today we're gonna use this uh, power tape this crafty power tape and a small piece of the magnetic sheet which I cut down to size so that it would fit right inside of the pamphlet and <clears throat> when you if you look at the pamphlet uh, all of these directions they repeat themselves in every language and so I'm an English speaking person so m my language is here which I would need to know so it was okay for me to adhere the magnetic strip on the other side and I adhere that onto the back onto the white side of the magnetic strip and I just take and put quite a few sheets across the strip and make sure that I have nice good even coverage so it will hold strong in the booklet I take and pull off those tabs like so and then I just line it up right on the inside part of the booklet manual that comes with that die cut very simple and easily and then I start with the largest die cut place that on there you see how that holds but it doesn't fall out perfect and then take the rest line them up in the middle making sure that I can you know have them evenly spaced so that they'll all fit which they will because they're, they're made they're designed to fit inside of one another get them all in there and there you go and then I can take this and close it up and my die cuts are safe and secure inside of their packaging I am reusing the packet you know the sheet that it came in I removed that tape on the back because I no longer need that tape there and then I can take this and store it in my bin with the rest of my die cuts and then they just sit right down in there like that and then I can come here and pull uh, a die cut if I need to use a die cut and I can easily see on the front of the package which die cut it is <clears throat> check this one out that one I just needed a little tiny strip just enough I just needed enough to hold it in place and I can see what it is on the front and when I open up the die cut there are all of the pieces on the inside there you go and see when I lift it up I can see the die cut and open it up and there are the dies right inside safe and secure onto the paper 
onto the magnetic strip. So there's a quick and easy tip for storing your die cuts. I hope that you have uh, a great day and try this try this technique out if you if you'd like. It's really easy and very uh, inexpensive to do. And uh, I thank you for joining me. Have a great day.